Uh, uh, welcome to Dwarven Kager, I'm Rob. I'm Tanner. And today, we are going to be reviewing another beer from Merry Old England, Cornwall, in particular. Yeah, this is, uh, this is Padstow Brewing Company's Padstow Pilsner. Now, Padstow Cornwall is what it says. So, for a Tresarius tr Estate, Padstow Cornwall. Now, this beer right here is one that has a 4.4 alcohol by volume. Uh, the can is awesome because it's got this wrap on it that's textured. Very matte. So if you're nice. if you're like really fucked up. Yeah, you I mean real you, good up. grip. You're not gonna good grip. You're not gonna grip. Good grip. Um, it's a a standard Pilsner, but it's a uh, cold fermented, which means that uh, it's it's to the almost to the freezing point when they ferment it. Uh, which is different than a normal process because what they do is they they heat it to a certain degree, so so that it kicks off the fermenting uh, I'll process. I believe you. Okay. Dropping science on you. Anyway, so um, let's get into it. Let's get it going. <laughs> Just ripped the can. He a just new ass he was pouring it and just just kept ripping it. Oh, by the way, didn't mention to you guys this cost um, three point uh, four nine pounds. Three three pound forty nine pence. You fucking uneducated swine. Swine. Okay, let's see. We've got a good color with it. Tight bubble head. It's very. I mean, it's it's exactly very. What I would look for it at Pilsner. It's just. It's a little cloudier than I expect. A little cloudier. But and there's almost a little bit of particulates in there. It smells like a Pilsner. It smells like every Pilsner I've ever drank. It is so on the nose with Pilsner. They're not trying anything fancy. Can you guys see the opening? He manhandled out of this thing. <laughs> so it wasn't pouring well, so just... I went to take the tab off. And when I took the tab off, I also took most of the front of the top of the can. Cheers. Anyway, cheers here. Ooh. That's good. That's a that's an easy drinker. That is. I mean, four point four percent. This better be an easy drinker. Yeah, better not try to harm me. That's that? that's less than than uh, past. Stop using my reference point. It's good. Uh, you have a problem with my favorite beer? I do have a problem with favorite beer. It's good. It's, it is good. It's very aromatic. Um, it's very you know. I'm not just reading this out of the can. It's very crisp. It's very clean. <laughs> crisp, clean. Uh, uh, it's talking about barley and wheat. It yeah. should be uh, stored upright and drink, you know, <laughs> drink fresh. Anyway, um, no, honestly. It's suitable for vegans, by the way. Suitable for vegans, just in case you're curious. It's good. You are. It's very light. It's very crisp. It's very, um. Yes, you already said that. But, I mean, okay. But to my point, that's all it's really going So this on. is... I'm going to be honest with you. I know that it's weird to say this, but uh, this Pilsner reminds me almost like a dry cider. It's got, for some reason, I get like an apple note to it, like a, um, like a bitter apple. Apple. I was sour. thinking, I was thinking like a green apple, a little bit of a green apple. Does there IBUs on here? There's almost no bitterness to it at all. I mean, the slightest. All bit. I get is bitter. Oh, shut up. The slightest bit of bitter. On the back, yeah. You know it's it's a it's it's just enough to kiss your tongue. I mean, it's good. It's tasty. It's good. It's tasty. It, I think if you're a Pilsner fan, this could definitely be your everyday Pilsner. Yeah, I mean, if you're a so, I have found out that there's there's three types of people that live in England when it comes to beer. That the three types of drinkers. No, no, he doesn't deserve it. They don't have winning seasons. Anyway, so. Uh, 11 and 4 left season. Yeah, 11 and 4 is still going to make Super Bowl. Anyway, so... The Colts! Anyway. That's because the Colts didn't have any good luck. And they still don't. <laughs> okay, so... So, uh... There's three types of people that I found in England that... Let's say, group them up, right? So there's your, your Stout and Porter fans. Okay. So, like, your, your dark beer. Then you've got your bitters, your bitter drinkers, which, you know, your pale ales and okay. stuff like that. Okay. And then you've got your pilsner drink drinkers, which are like your, essentially the working class. You know, they're, because it's it's usually a little cheaper. It's usually something that you can... If we're completely off base, let us know in the comments below. Yeah, I mean, that would be great if you let us know. But yeah. um, it's it's one of those, 
like every time that you watch any British reality show, there's always the one like grizzled old man that's just raping a pilsner, and he yells at you. Pilsners are very uh, they're very similar to when I think of American lagers. They're they're easy drinking. They're not meant to be super complex, um, but they're refreshing. I think if you can make a beer that's either a pilsner or an American lager, very crisp and refreshing. And I know I keep going back down to those two things, but that's where it's at. Make it crisp, make it refreshing. This is pretty good. It's not too complex, and I've kind of grown to want a little more complexity in my beer, even my easy drinkers, because it is obtainable. But this gets a it really is. Uh, nowadays, there's just so much, so much of it doing with it, especially yeah. micro brews. Yeah, yeah. But this is this is pretty good. I like it. Uh, three point five. I'm gonna do three point eight. Yeah. I think it's. I think I'm. You know me. I'm a. I'm a big Pilsner fan. Yeah. Yeah. It's so, it's good. It gets the job done. It's good stuff, guys. Like, subscribe, hit that little bell at the bottom, follow us on Instagram and Facebook for all sorts of Dwarven Kager shenanigans. And if you are looking forward to support the craziness here at Dwarven Kager, then check us out in that Patreon link below. And if you have any recommendations as far as what beer should we try next, what beer should we try two beers from now, I don't care. We'd love to talk to you guys. Drop a comment below. Also so, say hi. Also say hi, because we like you guys. So until we next like time, you if you're in the Cornwall area... Check it out. Pat's Stowe Brewing. It's pretty solid. Pilsner. I, I, I'd honestly like to check out what else Pat's they have. Pat's Stowe Pilsner. Pat's Stowe Pilsner. He sells by the key store. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> Swine.